some width on it early on, my oh, word! Whoa. Oh, oh. We were pretty excited when we first saw her turn up um, at a few club competition sevens games and she pretty much dominated her catch and pass, her contact skills were some of the best I've seen boy or girl. Probably too good to be true, we thought at first. I started league first and then what's called my friend, my mum's friend asked me about me playing for the sevens team and then yeah from there on we won the comp so we just yeah entered other comps and then I got interested. It was just for fun really and then they started to notice and then they started talking about it and then hey Paco. <laughs> I remember we were watching, I was watching with the UQ7s coach uh, Reg Taylor and we were both standing there together and she just tackled someone, stole the ball, picked the ball up, threw a 15 metre pass and we were both turned to each other and went, wow, this girl's in the same bracket as someone like a Charlotte or a Emily when they kind of first touched the ball. You could just see natural ability and we were just like, we have to get this girl involved, we have to get her in our program. She's really been helpful with um school-wise as well because um, I needed to improve in a lot of stuff and he's helped me through all of it and like build my confidence as well. One of the things that probably strikes you first and foremost is uh, Alicia is a very humble student, humble girl. She doesn't, um, doesn't share a lot about what she does outside of school. Um, she definitely keeps that and, and just gets in to do her business. She's never used it as an excuse. She, um, she just gets on with the job of, of when she's at school, it's to be at school and um, you know what she does outside of school, she does it exceptionally well at. You know, I didn't really imagine myself being in that kind of you know, environment, but then you know, it was happening, so it kind of scared me because like, <laughs> you know, playing in front of them, I had to like put my give my all in front of them, so it was a good opportunity for me to yeah, show what I had. Here she is, Fakasilea, Fakasilea! She's done it for Queensland! She is the hero! Remember the name, Fakasilea! One of the things that we definitely saw last year was the amount of girls who wanted to get involved in rugby and I mean I attribute a lot of that to the work that she's been able to do in, in, in creating a bit of a profile for it at school so yeah it's absolutely and when, when students see someone like that at an elite level on television you know performing it the way she did particularly at Suncourt Stadium a few weekends ago and then they see her at school on a Monday I think it's for a lot they go wow. In Queensland we're really lucky, head coach Mike Hayes has done a fantastic job, come in and done an excellent job of creating a culture around hard work and around making the girls as good football players as possible but also creating a culture where they all want to achieve the best. So I'm really excited about what it could be, looking forward to round one and seeing what our girls can do um, and I know it'll have great benefits for our sevens program as well in the future. It will be great for um, women in sports as well. Um, hopefully it um, builds our oh, next few years. And yeah, it will probably get bigger than the men's, hopefully. <laughs> she can be the face of the game. 15s and 7s like that ability to bring the game together as one game and not separate. I think she could do that as well, but not too much pressure as a young girl. Just have fun. As long as she keeps enjoying it, she can do whatever she wants. She plays rugby because she loves the game. It's not a job. It's not a chore. It's for the love of the game. And she loves being out there and competing 
And I think that's why she enjoys it, but that's why she's so good at it as well. 2020, hopefully, I'm trying to build and yeah, hopefully I'll get the opportunity to play with the girls and represent Australia. <laughs>